Hi guys! Um, I wanted to do some videos for my team members and just for anyone who's just really getting started um, using Young Living Essential Oils and they want some tips and tricks just to get started. Um, a lot of times people get their kits and they're not really exactly sure how they can use their oils and I get a lot of questions like how do I dilute and um, how can I use them topically and different things like that. So today um, I want to share about using essential oils topically. I'm going to demonstrate how you can use them um, diluted or neat and just give you a couple tips of using them topically so you can get out your oils and you can start using them. Um, the first thing I want to share is that on your bottles, um, if you look on the label, this is tea tree oil. Um, it says how to dilute it and this one says topically you can apply two to four drops directly to a desired area. So um, tea tree is one that I love to use um, in my hair, um, on my scalp. It's great for um, dry scalp and different things like that, just keeping your head nice and fresh and clean. So with this one, it says I can put two to four drops directly on my skin, and that's called neat. That means taking the oil directly out of the bottle and putting it right on your skin. So the way that I would do that is just take my hand and I would put... Um, let's see, one, two drops, and I would kind of swish it around, and then I would just go ahead and put it right on my um, scalp and on my hair and clo um, close to the base of my scalp. And um, your hair will actually, if you if you don't get it right on your scalp, um, your hair will kind of take the oil and bring it into your scalp. Um, and tea tree is another great one for skin um, too. So if you had any issues with your skin, um, you could just take a drop and uh, put it right on your skin and just rub it right on there like that. So um, it's really great to always check the labels and see how you can use it. So tea tree is one you can use neat and many of them are, so just check your label. Um, but for an example, this is Ula Grow, and this is a wonderful blend by Young Living. Um, and this one, I don't know if you guys will be able to read that, but the directions say to dilute one drop with one drop of V6. Um, or a carrier oil. V6 is an oil that young, a carrier oil that Young Living makes. Um, that's just a blend of a bunch of amazing um, uh, vegetable oils put together. It's a really great blend. But if you don't have V6, you can use olive oil. Um, you can use coconut oil. Um, you can use grapeseed oil, sweet almond oil, jojoba oil. Um, there's so many great vegetable oils that you can use. Um, I do suggest trying to buy an organic one. And you can really use uh, whichever you like. If you were to use coconut oil, coconut oil, um, if, it's, if it's in its solid form, um, is kind of a solid. And so you would just take a little bit and once you heat, once you get it in your hands, it heats up and melts and becomes oily. So you could put some of that in your hand or you could put a drop of olive oil or the V6 oil, um, whichever one you find that you like. I usually recommend starting with just, um, you know, the V6 is a great thing to buy because it's already um, a mix that works well, but just buying some coconut oil or some organic olive oil. Um, I make a blend and put it in a little bottle. So the way that you would use it topically diluted in that ratio with the Ula Grow, and a lot of them are this way, would be to put one drop. So I'm going to take a drop of the carrier oil and put one drop in my hand and then one drop of the essential oil one second. Come on. Okay, one drop of that. And then I would mix them together. And then I would apply them where I wanted to put them. A lot of times for this one, I like to put it behind my neck or behind my ears or on my wrists. So that would be how you would do it diluted one to one, which is what the ratio um, for this oil is. Now, another... Let's see. Oh, I had Cypress, which is um, you can put on neat. And purification is, an, is another one you could put on neat. But say that you had a bottle that said the ratio 
um, was more you just dilute it that way a lot of times for like children and things like that I suggest diluting um, in a bottle and that way you have a diluted version you can buy these bottles they're just empty five milliliter bottles from abundant health um, for you.com or um, bulk apothecary I can never say that right um, and so you would buy a bottle like this and you would fill it up with your carrier oil to right about here and then you would add about five to ten drops of your main oil to this bottle and then you would have a diluted version that you can just drop in your hand at any time and apply directly to yourself or to your kids and that's a great way to have diluted versions make your oils last and have them ready to go and then I would just put a little label with some tape on there um, a roller bottle is another great way to do that um, this has a little roller top so you can just go on your skin and roll it and same thing I would fill the bottle to about here with your carrier oil and then I would put um, this is a 10 milliliter bottle so I would put about 10 to 15 drops of my essential oil and you can do more or less um, reading your bottles and finding a d good dilution ratio that way or you can just take my advice and do about you know five to ten drops in a five milliliter or five or ten to fifteen in a ten milliliter um, with some carrier oil and that's a great way to use them diluted um, you can also just put about a teaspoon of oil right in your hand in the palm of your hand and add about two or three drops mix it up and then you could maybe apply it to like your whole back or maybe all, the whole bottom of your feet or um, if you have a couple kids you know you could do each of their feet that way and that way it's very diluted another way that I like to use my oils topically is by making a rub and in this I would use um, and there's tons of recipes on Pinterest and you can look online um, but I would use coconut oil and olive oil and a little beeswax and heat it up and mix it up and then I would add you know 15 to 30 drops of oil in here and then it's kind of like a nice paste that's already diluted and ready to go um, this one I use as my chest rub um, anytime we're feeling like we need some respiratory support or anything like that it has RC and eucalyptus and Raven and some other amazing great oils for respiratory support so that's a great way um, to dilute your oils and like I said there's lots of recipes online another great way is making a spray um, this is my toner mist that I make and what I do is I add distilled water to about here I add a teaspoon of witch hazel and two tablespoons of rose water and then I add purification oil uh, 15 drops and five drops of frankincense and then I go ahead and just spray um, my toner mist right on my face and then that's a great way to enjoy my oils topically um, as well so those are just a few suggestions so how, of how you can use um, your oils topically and kind of demonstrating to you how you can dilute um, so that you can get using your oils right away I know a lot of times it seems scary you get your oils and especially if you're not someone that's familiar with essential oils um, and you don't really know how to use them topically so that is a great way um, that you can use them and if you have any questions let me know um, I will provide some links to my website and um, some other links for buying uh, the bottles if you wanted to buy bottles or roller bottles or spray bottles, different things like that. I'll provide a link for that too in the description. Please like this video and look for more. I have tons of videos to help you to get using your oils. I have a 14 day essential oil challenge which is basically you get your kit and then it leads you through 14 days um, of using what's in your kit so you can experience it. And I have business builder videos and all kinds of fun stuff. So please check it out. And um, I thank you for joining me today. And um, be blessed and be well. Um, thank you.